welcome! Today I'm gonna show you the Silhouette Adventurer, a ferry built by Ocelot here on the Invest Building server. And as you can see, it's once again a ferry. So yeah, there's nothing much really to say about this ship. Uh, I believe it's around 90 blocks long. It's just your yeah, standard ferry as we have seen on NBS so many times before. But you guys really love to build ferries, so of course I'm gonna show them off. So yeah. I'd say we're gonna get started uh, at the bow. There's nothing really much going on right here, just some radar stuff. More radar stuff at the conning tunnel right there. Position lights, we got the helipad. As well as yeah, the funnel right here. And the chugging track, which you can see. As well as a yeah, tiny eclipse bound grill right there at the stern. I can see the jogging tracks right there. And let's try to find the entrance, which should be not right here, that's just crew area, alright. Uh, here we go, yeah, that's the entrance, the staircase, you can see uh, pretty cramped in here. We've got the chimp sauna and changing units right there on the top deck as well, you can see the sauna right there. Tiny little sauna, but quite detailed anyway, which is nice, we got uh, changing rooms right there. And a tiny gym with uh, two machines and some towel shelves, I believe. So yeah, tiny gym, but it's there. Now, deck four, let's go down towards deck three. Fifth, fifth, but right there. I believe this is a cabin deck. Premium passenger cabins, all right. So let's see if we can find any of those cabins. We got a service desk right there, where you can also get some drinks. That's pretty nice. And right there, we got an explorer suite which uh, has its own sort of living room right there with a bathroom and of course a balcony, alright balcony with some seating even a small hot tub and here we got the bedroom so quite some luxurious cabins right there and I believe we got the same on the other side as well yep, same on the other side, just an explorer cabin And in the stern of the ship, I believe we will find more of those cabins. Here we got some uh, standard cabins, just a bed, tiny bathroom. Really cramped, but it works for a short haul ferry. More cabins. And some crew area, which will lead us into a coffee machine. I believe, yeah, this is the bridge right there. We have uh, found the bridge. So yeah, as you can see, it's just a uh, normal basic ferry bridge. It's actually quite low uh, on the bow right there. It's just like one or two decks above the bar right there, which is interesting. The bridge rings right there. All fine. We got uh, captain's cabin, I believe, right there. Yeah, really small cabins. And let's go back outside right here into this ale. Which will lead us straight back to the staircase right there. So yeah, deck three, all cabins. Let's go down to our deck two and see what we can find. So on deck two, we got access to the master stations right there with the all the live boats right here. And I'm gonna leave some yeah, shelves for live vests as well. I like the use of hats right there, very detailed. And while this can be applied, we can uh, find the fish and chips restaurant right there, a small tiny fish and chips place. As well as a information and retail store, I believe this is just a small gift shop really. Uh, we got a coffee wagon, I like that, that's a nice little design right there with this uh, sort of hand card. We can get some coffee, I like that. Uh, more muscle station access. As well as a North Carolina steakhouse. That's a really small steakhouse, which is a single table, but it's there and it's detailed, so I like it. Pretty nice design. We got a spotlight, nightclub, and lounge right here in the bar. As you can see, it's just a small yeah, lounge nightclub area with a bar right here, a stage, and yeah, some seating. Bar access for crew only, I believe. Yeah. And on the other side, we got a arcade, I believe. Yeah, that looks like an arcade. As well as, yeah, more master station access. And in the stern, we got the, I believe this to be the main dining room. Yeah, the canopy main dining room. 
wash your hands very well. Uh, we got the galley right here, nothing special, it's just the ordinary galley. And the seating for the main dining room, so yeah, I believe this to be the only proper dining room aboard this ship, so, I mean, well, let's continue. So I believe this is the end of this deck is right there, so if you want to go to the car deck, we have to take the other one right here. Which we rest on into the car deck. So as you can see, it's just the ordinary uh, ferry car deck, really. Very open, of course, and fire extinguishers, nice detail, I like that. And yeah, I mean, here we got the access to the engine room, I believe. Yeah, engine room and food quarters, uh, food quarters yeah. It should have got right there. We got the engine control room, really cramped ceiling in here. And access uh, into the engine room right there. You can see, I believe, the engines or the shafts. And on the other side, we got some crew quarters, so really cramped as well. Tiny cabins, those are really small. <laughs> and I believe we got some more engine room stuff going on right there. Yeah, you can see. Lots of machinery. I'm really an expert on modern engines, but I guess it looks detailed enough. Especially considering the limited amount of space you got in here, so I believe you did a pretty good job. And yeah. Let's try to find our way back out again. Why is this staircase right there? A bit of the cardiac. And let's take this staircase here again. Which we did us all the way by the master stations. Back outside, so let's take another quick fire on the exterior. The Silhouette Adventurer, built by Ocelot here in the Invest Building Server. And yeah, pretty nice fire once again. Let me know what else you guys want to see, and I hope to see you all another time with a new video.